What is going on guys? Another little adventure here. As you see Project Restore Ford is going and I'm cleaning up the yard because it's a mess. I need a shed. Long story short, um, after relocating back to South Carolina, um, I want to go check on my tractor. It's an old 73 Alice Chalmers. And I got to tell you where she's finished uh, those years of sitting, there wasn't much left of her. All the hydraulic lines were gone. Keep in mind, it was a much bigger machine than this. But uh, I decided after 14 years, it was time to let somebody else take on the adventure with the Alice. And I was just not really needing a tractor. You see, my yard's not that big. But anyways, I saw this, and ordinarily, you know, if I see a Craftsman tractor, I just kind of drive on by. I, I know they are what they are. It's just middle of the road. Some people wouldn't call them less than that. But what caught my eye was right there on the side. One, it was a GT, so at least it was the upper end. And then two, that Kohler motor. Man, that is what got my eye. And... Somebody either upgraded and put a full-size battery in this thing, or I don't know. I just brought it home, so bear with me on all the crappiness. You're seeing what I'm seeing. Um, so they were asking $500, and you can see none of the safeties have been disengaged. The Everything's just dead. And uh, I said, no way, I can maybe go 300 bucks. And they go, yeah, no way. Oh, they called me back. They said, come and get it for 300 bucks. <laughs> uh, by the way, I put some fuel stabilizer in it. And some high octane. And a battery jump box. Fired right up in about 30 seconds. I'll do another video of it running. But I've got to get ready to go. Return. You can barely see out there the U-Haul trailer. I had to rent to get it. But you can see it is the bigger GT series. Take a look at them tires. Got the kind of cheapy looking little hitch set up on the back, but there's something. And you can actually put an electronic power takeoff on this thing. Uh, headlights and everything work, although the glass that or the plastic lenses are broke out. You can see it's a more of a tractor style. Little lug nuts and everything on the back end. Not bad for newer stuff these days. Again. It's not the big John Deere 435 or whatever. I know it is what it is, but for 300 bucks, and I mean she fired right up. Check out the mowing deck. That's one of the nice things about a Southern tractor. Got a couple of dents, solid, no rust. Uh, believe it or not, I did check the mowing deck before I pulled it, and uh, it fired off good. The engaged good the blades didn't sound noisy the arbors didn't sound bad but uh yeah so i'm gonna have some fun with this little guy i'm gonna beef it up a little bit do a couple of options the hood's out of whack the hinges you know these things are you know again it is what it is guys they weren't the greatest but i'm gonna fix a lot of this and do some upgrades uh i really like that engine if you want to comment on my page on the I'm not a big Briggs fan. Those newer Briggs, a lot of problems with those rocker arms and everything. I just don't like messing with them. So, not only do we have Project Restore Ford, we have got Project Restore Craftsman Tractor, which he doesn't need much. So, uh, if any of you guys got some tractors or got some links, you know, I wouldn't mind subscribing and checking out what y'all have. I'm sure it's better than this. Uh, I will look like a fool with my neighbors. Not exactly a very big piece of property. And trust me, I'm not staying in the trailer park. I'm buying some property. I'm going to move this bad boy out of here. So, as I always say, more videos to come. I'm really excited for 300 bucks. Time to go take this U-Haul back. And, uh, man, nice that the cable company showed up, wired up the cable, and didn't bury it. There's the big Ford. She's coming out really good. More videos on her. And like I said, that U-Haul trailer, it's time to go back. You guys have a good one.